Hello there, hello again. Uh, my name is Vicky uh, and this is a video on uh, folotropin alpha or um, as you may know by the brand name Gronal Egg Injection. Uh, it's this thing here and in this clip I'm going to talk about the medicine and in the second part of the video I'm going to show you how I administer the injection to myself. Uh, like the previous video I've done on Bucerellin injection or uh, by its brand name Supercore, I've done this uh, video as an aid memoir for patients who have been prescribed this treatment. I just want to know a couple of points, a little bit of reminders, know a little bit more about the medicine and also to watch a, a, a demonstration of how to administer the injection to yourself. Um, I'm a pharmacist, I, I work in the NHS in London, but as I said, I'm as a, I've said in the previous video, I'm also a patient. Um, uh, the first thing I want to talk about um, is I'm going to cover the medicine, I'm going to talk about its function, its role in fertility treatment, I'm going to talk about when you need to start taking the girl and left, and I'm also going to cover things, frequently asked questions, uh, in particular in this video I'm going to talk about storage and side effects. So the first thing I'm going to cover is talk about the medicine and its function and its role in fertility. Now, uh, phototropin alpha uh, is a synthetic version uh, version of a hormone that's produced in your body called follicle stimulating hormone or FSH. Um, the clinic may refer to this treatment as ovarian stimulation treatment. Uh, the reason why is that this is to stimulate your follicles to mature, grow, um, and you and in eventually you should be producing hopefully uh, fingers crossed uh, lots of eggs not too many but uh, more than what you normally would be doing if you've been on the long cycle uh, like myself um, you would have taken roughly about two to three weeks of another medicine to down regulate your ovaries um, effectively uh, switch them off um, after which uh, you go into the uh, clinic, you get an ultrasound and what they're looking for is to uh, check your um, uterus lining is, is nice and thin. Um, they want to check your ovaries have switched off um, so they can do that by looking at the ultrasound. And the next thing they'll be doing is counting I think what is called antral follicles. So these are the follicles that may potentially become you know, the, the, the eggs later on. So they'll be counting that up. After they've done all these checks, then you're ready to move on to the next stage, which is ovarian stimulation treatment. Now, if you're on the short cycle, you would have skipped everything I would have just said, so you would have skipped the whole load of down regulations, not applied to you, and now you're joining us for the ovarian stimulation uh, treatment stage. Now, um, next stage, I want to thing I want to talk about is when to start taking gonal F. Now. Whichever cycle uh, you're on, you will be told when to start taking phototropin. Uh, when I went in for the scan uh, to check whether my ovaries are down regulated, I was actually told to bring my, my pen, my, my little box along, um, in the anticipation that uh, the nurse uh, would say, yes, you're ready, We're, you know, I want you to do the first uh, injection in front of me. Um, do do that because this is probably one of the only times you're going to get uh, somebody guiding you and a professional actually watching you what you do and making sure you're doing it right. Um, quite typically I ended up a little bit nervous doing it in front of somebody and I ended up pinching it too hard and then and then uh, going in. No harm done, it's no big deal but it's just a habit of mine and, and not to worry yourself because it's, it's, this is where you get your, your, your chance uh, uh, for one-to-one -one training with them so, so do do that. Um, after I had, uh, I was given the all green um, to go ahead and start taking the treatment. Um, my appointment was booked for seven days later, and this is this is a, another ultrasound, and this is to check um, the follicles that they had counted, um, how many of them are mature enough to move on to the next stage. Um, uh, this. I've had this appointment already and uh, my follicles are not quite big enough. They're nearly there but not quite not quite uh, uh, of the right size uh, ready for extraction. So I've been told to take it for another three days. I've had another blood test to check my hormone profile, that's fine. Um, and then after that we'll have another check of the ultrasound again to check 
you know, are they big enough? Now, if there's one thing I was, uh, I've learned from this, and um, I'll, 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 I, I hope um, you, you, you also do the same thing as well, is if you are delayed for any reason, say for example your, you know, your follicles haven't matured enough, you may have even had a delay in your appointment for whatever reason, or even when you're taking the first set of down regulation treatment, you may have had a delay, check that you've got enough medicine, um, and because you don't want to run out with this sort of thing, it's so important to take it every single day. Um, be aware of how much you've got left and say how much you've got left to the clinic. And I've said how much I've got left and the clinic said, fine, if you, if, you, uh, if you start running low on the next appointment, we've got plenty spare to give to you. But just let them know and, and uh, let them always um, just to give you time to get some supplies ready. Um, and hopefully if... Uh, if if I make it through the next stage and eggs are, are big enough, I'll, um, I'll be ready for egg extraction. I guess that's the final stage and perhaps you'll be able to join me for that video. Now for um, frequently asked questions, um, there are two things I'm going to uh, talk about. Um, there were two others, um, there were four questions in total that patients normally ask. Two of them revolve around administration and calculating doses, so I'll do that for the um, uh, I'll do that for the second part of the video. Um, the first two questions um, they normally ask people normally ask about is about storage and side effects. Now, the first one I'll talk about storage. That's pretty easy. Um, when you first look at the pharmacy uh, label, it says um, store in a refrigerator, which is fine. Um, but then when you look at the side of the box, um, it says that you can uh, store at room temperature for up to three months without being refrigerated. Um, but once it's open, the medicine may be stored for 28 days at or below 25 degrees C. Um, the best way to uh, keep it nice and simple, you think, do I keep it in the fridge or do I keep it at room temperature? Um, when it's unopened, um, keep it in the fridge, keep it in the middle shelf of the fridge and you've got, you've got the best expiry date possible. I mean, this goes up to 2015, I'm definitely not going to use it for that long. So it means that for whatever delays, you've, you've got the longest expiry date possible. But when you open it, is 28 days and it's at room temperature um, just just when it's open just leave it out um, and uh, leave it out keep it with your other medicines um, because it doesn't matter from that point whether you keep it in the fridge if you do put it back in the fridge you have to wait for it to warm up before you can start injecting yourself and that just sounds like a lot of faff the only reason why I'd keep an open pen in the fridge is if it's a really hot day, it's hotter than 25 degrees, which let's face it, it does happen, um, but very rarely. So that's the only time I'd bother keeping it in the fridge. The last thing I want to talk about is um, side effects. Um, you may have heard that this medicine may make you feel emotional and um, you're going to feel really down and you're going to get lots of ups and downs. Um, but in the day, remember this hormone replicates what normally happens in your body, the follicle. It's there to wrap on your eggs. It's there to um, help you produce lots more eggs and it's just a higher dose than what you normally have. Um, the only uh, the, the the most common side effect is is lower abdominal pain. And I can tell you, um, I've been feeling a lot of that for the past few days. Um, I've been told by my nurse to drink plenty of fluid. Try to take about two to three liters. Um, I said I'm quite happy to take two, but if I took three liters, my teeth will start floating. I said no to that, but she said fine. Take two liters of of, of fluid a day. That's okay. Um, you may find that you feel a little bit bloated, a little bit of cramping and uh, headaches. I certainly got the headaches in the first few days, not so much now. The most important thing for you to watch out, hopefully your clinic has gone through this with you, um, is uh, symptoms of ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. And it's exactly what it says on the tin. Um, it's when your follicles um, develop too much and they turn into really large cysts. So if um, in the manufacturing uh, leaflet, the, the leaflet you get inside your box, it actually says if you get lower abdominal pain, gain any weight rapidly, feel sick or vomiting, or if you have difficulty in breathing, uh, speak to your doctor straight away who may ask you to stop uh, using this medicine. Um, if you, I wouldn't stop it just just for the, um, with by yourself. You should always speak to your healthcare professional. The problem with symptoms like this, it actually sounds very similar to what you would normally get. Um, so always speak to your healthcare professional. There, that's what they're there for. They're there to help you. Um, and um, 
if it is quite common but it's manageable so I don't want you to be worried about it there's always help to hand they've dealt with this before so don't ever feel that you're alone okay um, I think that's that's it that's the end of the first part of my video I hope you join me for the second part of the video where I'm going to show you how I administer my injection thank you for watching <laughs>